hello friends welcome back in this video i'll quickly show you how can you create a local repository on your machine all right so guys basically i already had a video so guys in this video we already discussed how can we create a local repository on a local machine like on your system right but if you can see this video is of 8 minutes right so i'm going to create a quick video now guys the prerequisite first of all you need to have git installed on your machine you can watch this video if you do not have git on your machine okay so once you have git installed you need to open the git bash terminal okay so i'm going to open git bash terminal which is here now guys first of all i'll go to c drive okay now here i will create a folder say for example i'm calling it production where i want to have all my repositories so let's go to this folder called production okay now if i run di command i don't see anything okay let me do one thing let me open the folder as well all right guys so this is our production folder so basically this is the root folder under which we can have multiple repositories so basically in production you can have 10 applications or 20 applications right so you are going to create local repository for each one under this particular folder only right so what i will do i'll go and create a folder for my application say for example my application name is my app only my app and i'm adding a keyword called repo so basically this is just a regular folder and i'm calling it my app dash repository right repo now guys this is just a regular folder so we need to convert our regular folder into a git repo so let's see how can we do that so for that guys what i will do i'll first cd i will go in, inside your application folder so my application name is my app repo right so you have to switch you have to run the change directory cd command to go into the your application folder okay now if i run pwd i can see that i am inside my app dash repo directory okay now guys to convert this into a git repository i'm going to run a command called git init git initialize okay let me hit enter now what do you see here it says initialized all right so basically our task is done but how can we verify so what i will do i'll go here now guys if you open your project folder you will see that there is a new folder created dot git so it's a hidden folder to see the hidden folder you have to go to view options go to view and click on show hidden folders and directories okay now guys if you go inside the dot git folder you will see many other subfolders like hooks info objects reference and if you go inside you will see some files as well okay now guys very important thing that these files and folders are not for your use your git terminal will make use of this particular folder to keep track of the changes on your local repository so for example say i am going to create a new folder here i'm and i'll call it source folder right inside source i'm going to create a java class say i'm calling it test.java right so basically we added one folder into our local repository and one java file okay now guys i'm going to run a command on git terminal it's called git status now if you see there is one untracked file and there is a untracked file called src right so it means that we have done some changes now our terminal has started recording the changes on our local repository now guys if i do git add star i'll explain git add star later in the video and if i run git status again what do you see it says that changes to be committed so basically there is a new file in our local repository inside source folder right so what i can do i can run git commit command git commit dash m message here you can write whatever you feel like right so basically by using git commit command we have committed this new file test.java in our local git repository now if i run git status i don't see this message untracked file and new file it's gone because we have added new file to our local repository and we have committed the local file into the git repository okay guys now guys if you want to see how can you push your code from your local repository to remote repository there's already a video in the series you can watch that particular video all right guys i hope this is clear how can you create a local repository how can you add some content to your local repository and how can you commit the changes into the local repository all right guys thank you for watching bye for now